welcome back to a new video this week. It is finally time to put up a new video after being gone for two months. I will update you guys in where I've been, what's going on, and yeah, so this is going to be an updated makeup routine. I have not done one of these in a really long time, probably since I've moved back, but I thought this would be a good video to do to sit down, chit chat with you guys, and just hang out and show you guys my updated makeup look, a few things that have changed in the past year and I have a few new products that I've picked up that I wanted to share with you guys and yeah so enough with the chit chat and let's just get into today's video. Alright so I've already moisturized and all that good stuff so um, if you guys want to see an updated skincare routine let me know. Some things have changed, it's been about a year now so my skin kind of changed a little bit so if you guys want to see that let me know. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and put my chapstick on. This is this Lip Smacker Grapefruit as SPF. So, yeah. And it's just so different now, like, without my lip ring, like, how I do things. I'm still trying to get used to it. And now it's time to prime. So I have been using this Milani Prime Perfector. Uh, perfection, sorry. Hydrating, oil-free one. I was using the e.l.f. Um, hydrating one before and I didn't like it. I felt like it was making my skin oily and it wasn't really hydrating. I didn't like the texture of it. I didn't like the smell. So I just switched it out and I used this Milani one. I'm just going to go ahead and put some on my face like this and then I just rub it in. I don't know. Every time I have like makeup, I'm really big on like the way it smells for some reason. I just love how it makes my skin feel. Like this really makes your skin feel really hydrated. And really awesome so like I said this is an updated makeup routine so um, a lot of the times if I don't do all of what I'm going to show you guys I'm doing I'll just put this on with some concealer and some powder and I'm good and like do my eyebrows and that's about it and this stuff holds now the next foundation that I had of course this is an elf one I, I feel like most of the stuff I'm gonna be showing you guys is elf but I really genuinely love elf they are also um, cruelty free so if you guys are into only cruelty free brands elf is the way to go so I recently picked up their foundation the flawless finish foundation this is an oil free satin finish and this I got in the color vanilla but this is light with golden undertones so it'll tell you your undertone when you pick it out and I really like this for a drugstore brand this is pretty like hefty it's glass and it's also a little pump. I've been using BB cream for like a year. I haven't really used foundation. Um, I just picked this up like three weeks ago and I've only used it about four or five times but I've been feeling really comfortable in my own skin and I feel like sometimes I don't even like need to wear makeup. I'm just going to use my beauty blender now um, and I'm using the elf makeup mist. I really went through this thing like it's already empty and this is supposedly like the bigger bottle of the elf one I use about like two to three pumps and then I just go ahead blend it in I'm just gonna blend down my neck but I feel like this foundation is just really nice I usually don't really pay attention to the finishes on foundations I kind of just buy the one that I feel I like at the time and I really like the satin fit. Like, it doesn't even really look like I have a lot of foundation on. Alright, so now that we're done with foundation, I'm going to move on to concealer. I got the e.l.f. one. I had a different concealer, and it just was not, I don't know, it was just making my under eye really dry and cakey, and it just did not really look well. So this is the e.l.f. lightweight concealer. I got this in light, fair light, and I'm just going to put this, um... Here I have, like I said, you guys probably can't see these little breakouts, but I can. And I get really crazy about little things like that. So I'm just going to put this here. You guys know I also, when I go to work, I don't really do a lot. I'm just going to spray this again. But like even when I go to work, I don't put on a lot of makeup. I've never tried to put on a lot of makeup. Um, and I've been doing a lot of school stuff. We're also getting ready to move. So I've been keeping my makeup very, very simple. I also wanted to do this video just to kind of update you guys. I'm working on another, um, 
video right now. I'm kind of editing it. Um, there's just been a lot going on and I know I always say that when I put a video up, but honestly there has been and like I mentioned, we are getting ready to move, which sucks because I really like filming by this brick wall. Um, but we're moving and um, you know, I'm kind of happy to be moving. There's been a lot of issues in this apartment and it kind of sucks, but I'm ready to move and um, you know, we found a home that we're going to be at for a while. All right. So now we're going to move on to powder. Now this e.l.f. powder I have purchased, I don't know, like 10 times. For a drugstore, this one is really awesome. This is the e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. And I love the packaging. It's mirrored and it's just super awesome. The packaging looks like this and it's from their Beautifully Bare uh, collection. This is in the shade Light Medium. It comes with a little sponge applicator, but... I don't really use that sponge applicator unless I like take it somewhere with me and I forget like a brush or something. So I'm just going to get my powder brush and we're just going to apply this. There's just a lot of changes and a lot going on and you know sometimes it's not like before when I was living in New York and all I had was YouTube. Like now I actually you know I have a lot going on so I'm trying to kind of find time between filming and between all the other things that I'm doing in my life right now. Finish applying that. And then I just add a little bit of the setting spray so that way everything can kind of set together. All right, now we're gonna move on to eyebrows. Like I said, don't judge me. I'm still working on them. So I have two e.l.f. products. Like I said, this is probably just gonna be mostly like an e.l.f. related video. But this is the brow pencil and I don't know what shade this is in. I think it's just in their brown or maybe their darkest shade, I don't know. Um, but I've been using this for the longest time. I picked up the e.l.f. brow gel. This one I really, really like. It's really tinted and there's a lot of product. The only thing is the little brush on it is like super thin. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and get started on them. I'm just going to brush through. You guys probably won't see this apartment anymore. And I wanted to do like a living room tour, but... I just ran out of time and by the time I went and started putting everything together for it, it was just late. And I've been kind of filling them in kind of dark. I don't know. I kind of like how that looks. Really may not be like the most perfect thing in the world, but for me right now, I'm really happy with them, especially with how they've grown back and all of that so now we're gonna put the eyebrow gel like I said this stuff is really pigmented so um, even though um, the brush is kind of thin um, it puts on a lot of product all right so now I'm gonna move on to let's move on to highlight so I have another elf product here this is the elf highlight this one is in the Moonlit Pearls or Moonlight Pearls and this one's a very subtle highlight. Um, it's more of like a little pearly kind of color and like I said for an everyday one this is one that I use especially if I'm going to work. I'm not trying to be in an office in a body shop with like crazy highlight you know. So I'm just going to take this fan brush. I don't know what brand this is. I just got it at Marshalls a while ago. So I'm just going to I don't know if you guys can see it, but I don't, like, for an everyday, I won't put on a lot. But if I want more, then I'll use, like, a different highlight. Um, the other highlight that I might use is the Wet n Wild ones. Those are really good. We're going to put on a little bit more of that. Um, but yeah, back to what I was talking about. Um, so yeah, it's just a lot of really good things. I feel like I'm really happy, and I feel like I'm doing a lot now. Um... So if you guys see that sometimes I don't upload, um, you know, a lot or if I go again, you know, without uploading for like a month, um, all of my social media is in the description down below. You guys can keep up with me on there and see what I'm doing because most of the time I'm always on Snapchat or Facebook or something like that. Um, so it's just a lot of things trying to figure it out where to film and when to have time to like kind of sit down and figure out. 
um, which is why I wanted to do this updated makeup routine because I feel like here I can just talk to you guys and do my makeup and kind of just hang out with you guys while I do this um, and just update you guys, especially those of you who are new. Um, so yeah, it's just an easier way to chit chat with you guys and all that. Um, so getting back to the makeup, now I'm going to do um, my, um, oh I was about to say, <laughs> now I'm going to do my mascara. Um, I haven't been wearing eyeliner at all. I haven't worn it in like six months, I think, five months. Alright, and I just put my hair down. But usually, um, like I said, I just wear this. Like, I don't even really put, like, how I used to put the um, eyeliner in my waterline. I don't even really do that anymore. Like, I forget that I have it. And I just do mascara and I really haven't even put eyeliner on in like months. I just, you know, this is just my look and I feel really comfortable with it and I like it. Um, so yeah, that's the mascara. This is the Revlon Wally Amazing and it looks really, really good. All right, y'all, so this is the finished, updated makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was really fun to just hang out with you guys, sit and chit chat. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will put all of these products in the description down below for you guys so you guys can check them out because it mostly was all e.l.f. And like I said, it is a cruelty-free brand. So if you guys are interested in only cruelty-free makeup, then you guys can check them out. But yeah, this is just the completed look. It's very simple. It took me probably about 10 minutes if we cut out all the chit chat that I did. That is basically what this looks like. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And for those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. And thank you guys so much for subscribing. Um, and also don't forget all of my social media is in the description bar down below. So you guys can go in and check that out. Um, so if there is a time where I'm not uploading, you guys can kind of see what I'm up to and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always thank you guys so much for being patient when I am MIA for a few months and not uploading. Um, so thank you guys so much and I hope that you guys enjoyed this updated makeup look. The clouds just came in so I'm sorry if the lighting got really weird. Um, but thank you guys so so much and it was really good to sit here and hang out with you guys and just chit chat and do my makeup and yeah. So thank you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.